Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I want to cover shapes, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to cover is, you know, how do we create shapes? Uh, you can do that by clicking here on these little icons on the right hand side. So you draw a polygon option, you know, you have the um, rectangle, you have a circle, and then you also have the, the GeoShape library. The other uh, thing I want to talk about is, you know, how do we store these, um, these shapes? Um, you know, once you create the shapes, uh, you can store them in folders. Um, so as you can see, I have this territory folders. Within this territory folder, I have these um, these shapes. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, click here on the draw polygon. So let's say that I wanted to create, you know, a route, um, just to kind of encapsulate, you know, records that are along, you know, um, this interstate. I can do that very easily. Uh, and then from here, I can click on that shape. And from here, I can also save. So if I want to save this shape. Say I want to store this into, um, you know, my territories field. Uh, we'll just call this test i5. If I click show label, it'll show me um, the name of that shape. So go to X this out. If we zoom in, we can see the label here. Okay. Other option we have uh, is say uh, let's go ahead and click on the little circle, draw circle. So you can draw that circle, that's the little cross. So go ahead and click on the screen and then just expand. Click one more time. Now I want to click here on the uh, layers tab. And as you can see a layers tab, you know, we have the test i5, which we've, we've saved. But now we have the unnamed circle here. And it gives you the radius of it and kind of things and other details as soon as I start hovering over. So as you can see here, captures two accounts and this amount. So this is a great way, you know, if you just want to kind of, you know, analyze an area and see, you know, what's in there, you know, what you got going on, um, you know, definitely recommend using this um, unnamed circle. Okay. All right. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And uh, next thing I want to show you is how do we add um, geo shapes uh, to the map? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click here on this little world icon at geo library. And it's going to pull up the um, uh, GeoShape uh, editor. So let's go ahead and you know we'll just call this uh, Zips uh, LA, and we'll store it in that same territories folder. Okay. And shape type, we'll go ahead and go with zip codes. And now I have the option to click here on the little lasso, and I'm saying, oh, I want to just create a little blob here. And this is just going to capture all those zip codes for me. And for now, I'll just click Save. All right, so there it is. So if I click back on my Layers tab, so let me uh, go ahead and just hide this polygon for now. So now, you know, we have one shape that's comprised of many subshapes, the subshapes being the zip codes. So if I were to click here on this subshape, you can see this is 917, has one accounts, and this much in annual revenue. And if I wanted to, I could apply actions to the whole shape or just the zip code. So the next thing I want to cover is uh, how do we favorite these um, these shapes? So you have the option here to you know so we're going to hover over this test i5 and we want this to auto load. Okay, so I'm going to click here on the star um, and then I want to do the same for the zips la and then I'll go over here in my data sets accounts by rating and I'm going to also star that. So now I'm going to go ahead and just um, refresh everything so and I clicked on the map tab as if I were coming to the map for the very first time and in we'll just let it do its thing here and as you can see it added everything on its own and along with the data so I could just click back here and everything is uh, as I left it so all right so that's a just a, a recap of shapes um, hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching have a great day